Okay, in this video, we're gonna talk about keyword clusters. Now, when you understand this, it will unlock things for you that uh, have the potential to really accelerate the ability for you to attract audiences to your site from Google, going after keywords that don't have a lot of search volume. And you'll see by the end of this video what I'm talking about. Here's the, here's the, the mistake many bloggers make, and I've probably even been in this camp myself until I really understood this. The truth is your blog post doesn't just rank for one keyword. Yes, we have a target keyword, but what Google is doing is it's searching for all the keywords in the article that match the other keywords that people are looking for. And so your one content piece might rank for hundreds of keywords. Now, the reason why that's important to understand is because what can happen if you're just singularly focused on a keyword is you end up creating five or six blog posts and put a lot of energy into all these blog posts when you could have just written one blog post that included all those keywords. So we have a tool in Low Fruits, which is really awesome. There's other tools that can do this, but quite frankly, they're more expensive. And uh, this doesn't cost you any extra credits. Now, it will not analyze the words that you have. It will not cluster the word, the keywords that you've not already done the analysis on. So you will need to use up some credits to find the low hanging fruit. But then all of those analyzed keywords can be clustered into multiple keywords and you just sprinkle those keywords into your content. It'll make more sense when we jump in, but I think you're gonna be pretty wowed by this concept. All right, so we left off the last video and um, we've analyzed some keywords. We haven't analyzed all 2,300, um, but we should be able to come up with some clusters from those that we have analyzed. Uh, off the video, I analyzed a few other keywords related to sports cards, just to give us some more to look at. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here to clusters. And I know this is a big scary warning sign, but there's no warning, there's nothing wrong. It's just telling you, hey, there are more keywords you've analyzed that haven't gone through the clustering, right? So we're gonna click on cluster. <clears throat> And now what this tool is doing is it's going and matching every keyword in the um, search engine. So let me give you an example, <clears throat> and I think this will make sense. So this is a totally separate tool, but I want to give you a visual representation. So let's say I had a keyword, how to start a book blog and how to create a book blog. Should I create two different articles on that? Or could I just include both of those into one article? What we're gonna do is gonna click on the check here. And this is showing you what's happening in the background with all of your keywords that you've analyzed on low fruits. So what it's doing, this tool is doing, is it's checking what pages are ranking in the top 10 for how to start a book blog and what pages are ranking for how to create a book blog. And look what it found. There are nine URLs that are the same. They're the same blog post that are ranking. And here's a visual representation. You can see here that in position one, booktrust.org is ranking for both of these. Same with number two. Now this one crosses over, but the point is there's really only one here that is ranking for how to start a book blog that's not ranking for how to create a book blog. And there's one here that's not ranking for the other. What I'd like to see is if any of the URLs are four or greater, then they should just be covered in one blog post. Now rewatch this video if you need to really catch this, but what we're saying is don't create two different blog posts one on how to start a book blog and one on how to create a book blog. Just use the keyword how to create a book blog in your actual article. And that same page, that one blog post could rank for two different keywords. So what 
low fruit is doing and it looks like it's done now is it's taking our keywords and it's done a cluster so best books on selling on ebay there are 10 total keywords i don't have to write 10 separate blog posts i can write one blog post on best books selling on ebay now what it's doing over here if it's got green it's saying most of the keywords are low fruit they're low hanging fruit if it's got yellow it means there are 10 out of the 18 you can see here 10 are low fruit keywords out of the 18 still might be worth creating an article on just know that to be the case all right so let's jump into this one best books on selling on ebay so actually let's do Let's do sell baseball cards on eBay. All right, because that's a clear intent. Someone searching for that wants to learn how to do that. And this would be a great article. It's got eight out of the nine. So we click into this. What we're going to see here is it's first of all ranked by the weak spots down. So we've got almost all of them but one have weak spots. Now the 60%, if I click on the percentage here, it's going to rearrange it, it's gonna put 100% at the top. Now what basically the 100% means is it's the most searched keyword in the cluster, right? So it's got 170 searches, it does not have any weak spots, but I would still target this in the title of my blog post and in the content. But what I can do in my article and by the way, I can click here and view the SERP. Here's some ideas, like how to sell sports cards on eBay and make money, make more money, right? So it's got that sell, doesn't really have sell baseball cards, but it's got sell sports cards. I might be able to target that a little bit better by, um, by focusing on this, right? All right, so then in my article on how to sell baseball cards on eBay and make money, I want to also make sure that I add in uh, like maybe a Q&A section in my blog post. Is it easy to sell cards on eBay? Is it hard to sell cards on eBay? Uh, maybe one of my headers is the ultimate guide to selling sports cards on eBay. Uh, a section called sports cards on eBay tips. In other words, I don't need to create a separate blog post on selling cards on eBay tips because 60% of the people who are ranking for this also rank for this. Hope that really makes sense. And when you understand this, if we look at, at the combined um, volume here, I don't know if it shows us if we go back out of here. Yeah, if we look at the combined monthly search volume, it's 340. I think that's great. And we've done it by targeting keywords that honestly have under 10 this one's got 140 this one's got 30 so this is where a lot of of bloggers seo experts would not even target these words because they don't have enough search volume but when you do understand keyword clustering it is worth it for me to create this because i can rank easily for nine out of the ten keywords that are here in one article and have the potential to get 340 or more searches a month to show up on my site from that one article. That is the power of keyword clustering. I hope this makes sense. I try to break it down as simple as I can because it took me a little while to get my mind around it. Rewatch this video if you need to, but that is the power of using low fruits to help you know what keywords to include in your articles. All right, we got one more video in this section, so let's jump over to that one.